Hi, it's Megan. I wanted to get a couple videos up fast because I know with kind of all the friends and family sales, things are selling fast. And I got a bunch of requests for one of the items that was in my Sephora haul. This is the Givenchy Rose Plumatus number 207 La Rouge Limited Edition burgundy collection um, lipstick. So what it means by burgundy collection, so it comes in the little Givenchy box and it's got a burgundy leather case. So they call this a lipstick and a fashion accessory. I think this is a really cute case. I don't really use it as a fashion accessory, but if you do, it has a burgundy leather case, not the normal color. Um, so they say, I don't know, they kind of sell the case more than the lipstick. But this, ha this particular collection has two colors. This one right here, the rose, and also a burgundy, and they call it a, it's called Frambois Velours, which is like raspberry, and it's like a deep raspberry burgundy kind of color. It was a little bright for me, but this color I thought was absolutely perfect. This wasn't even something I was thinking of getting, but, oh, I see a cat in the back, but um, there was only one left, and I'm always tempted when I see only one, and I really like the brand, and I like this particular formula. So... They are $36 for 0.12 ounce, which is about normal on a lipstick. This is kind of the average. And I get about two and a half hours wear of this particular color. It's supposed to be a matte, semi-matte, which I'm going to debate for a minute. I don't know. I've got this creamy matte, this kind of matte with a slight sheen, the satin matte, all that. I'm not really knowing that even those apply. This really doesn't look like a matte to me personally, but it's a gorgeous color. So I would describe it as kind of a pinky mauve, and a lot of times the mauves can be a little cool toned on me, but I really love them with the blue eyes. They work great. They work great with others, but I'm just talking about for me. Um, but this one I thought had almost a, a hint of warmth to it, if you look at it. And what it really reminded me of is my uh, NARS... Vanessa lipstick, which is one of the limited edition Barney ones. I'm just going to put it next to it. Except Vanessa is a lot more purple. And this is more pink. But I just I thought that they were similar. You can see they're not completely the same. But I just thought they were similar. With one being more purple, one being more pink. And kind of having the same look on. And I love Vanessa, which is probably why I just gravitated toward this one. So what I liked about it, it's very opaque. It's very creamy. It wears beautifully. About two and a half hours, which I just have a tough definition of where wear is. If it doesn't look perfect, it's not wear to me. Um, and I just thought it was one of those My Lips Got Better that was kind of on the slightly cool to neutral, almost almost getting to the warm pink bit, just because, I don't know if that makes sense, but when it has a little bit purple, sometimes it can be a little bit cool tone, but this almost has like a hint of brown or something in it that makes it a little bit um, warmer but I mean like super pink, this is not a brown lipstick. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Kind of a long convoluted of saying, but it's, I think it's gorgeous on, and the coverage is just so, so flawless. So anyway, I really like this. Totally not on my list, not on my wish list, but when I saw it at Sephora, I just kind of grabbed it because I liked it so much when I tried it on. That is it, and no bleeding, no staining with this color. I don't know about the darker one didn't get that one and uh, please subscribe on YouTube thanks and thanks to the people who requested that I get this video up because they wanted to see swatches before it sold out